Welcome back to my little channel. Well, today I'm going to um, talk about um, something else. L the last few months, everything we talked about was Corona and Trump. Now, both of them are pretty much interesting topics because the media will deny you the right to say anything that they don't like. Now, my channel is small, so I seem to be flying under the radar as it is. But can you imagine when you talk about how the election may not have been completely honest, you have a problem. When you talk about how the death toll when it comes to COVID is pretty much dishonest, you have a problem. But it's almost as if the world seemed to have forgotten that there's a, another huge problem. You could climate, oh no, wait a second, no, no, not climate change, because that's pretty much debunked as well. Um, racism. Did you know that racism is a huge problem? Oh my God, especially when white people do it. What am I, what am I saying? No, no, not especially when white people do it, because no one else does it. It is just white people who are racist. And, and, and we need to strengthen ourselves according to the coca-cola company because we have to turn off whiteness not that anyone ever cares to explain what whiteness is but no no the worst racist people in the world are white people and that's why i was so surprised when i found this i didn't really find it or rather i did but someone else found it before me um but let me let me show you what i'm talking about when we're dealing with the Caucasian not having no soul, you have to understand, in order to possess the cosmic essence, you have to have melanin. In order for the cosmic essence to come in, you need to have melanin. But the thing is, all humans have melanin. Some have more of it than others, but this is more based on where you live. The, the funny thing is, if you have white people that live for generations in areas like, for example, South Africa, their skin turns browner. I mean, they won't be black right away, but every generation is a little bit darker than the generation before. Funny enough, the opposite is true too. If you have people that came from dark Africa and they live in the Northern Hemisphere, or rather, not so much the Northern Hemisphere, but further away from the equator, their skin turns lighter. Why is that? Well, that's because melanin protects the skin from solar radiation or sunlight. And it helps your skin to survive, which is important because your skin is the main source for vitamin D. And if your skin is burnt, that hampers it a little bit. Um, if you live in a very sunny area, your skin might get burned fast and not so much the burning itself fast but too much vitamin d is also not a good thing i have been told taking these things into account so the cosmic essence needs to get in and before the cosmic essence to get in you need melanin where it is melanin that actually prevents the cosmic essence coming from the sun to get in too much Again, this is why people with a fairer skin tend to burn faster in the sun than people with a darker skin. The melanin prevents this from happening. So it kind of prevents cosmic essence to get in. Not the point. I know. Let's continue. A specific component of melanin being neuromelanin, the one with the N, not the E. Yeah, neuromelanin is a thing too. It's something in the brain. It's nothing to do so much with sunlight, but more with the protecting of the brain itself. Again, every human has this. Most animals have this too, but in a different capacity. But yeah, no, black people and white people and Asian people and Middle Eastern people, they all have it. It's common, to be honest. Caucasians only have female melanin, which is animal melanin. Yeah, that simply isn't true. They cannot get above the animal plane conscious level. So white people can't get above the animal plane conscious level. Not quite sure what that means, but I'm willing to believe that's stupid. Why? But we, I haven't seen a lot of animals building skyscrapers or cars or planes or 
well, basically anything, really. I mean, okay, there are animals that have the ability to use tools in a very rudimentary way. And when I say very rudimentary, I'm talking about using a stick to get termites out of a mound. About that level. I mean, we're not talking about saws and hammers and building habitats. So, I have to call bullshit on this one. I hope you don't mind. You see animals kill, they don't, a lion will kill you and don't lose no sleep. A gorilla will kill you, don't lose no sleep. A cobra will kill you, don't lose no sleep. I'm not really sure if this is going where I think it is going. Well, actually, I am sure. But um, it's, it's, it's not about the killing and not losing sleep. It's the fact that you use one species to explain how that species can kill another species. This in itself is kind of interesting, because what you are saying is that white people and black people are of a different species, or a different race, if you want to say it like that. Whereas I personally, and a lot of people with me, believe that black people and white people are of the same species, and of the same race. But... Um, Let's 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 delve into this a little bit deeper, shall we? The Caucasian is killing us and don't lose no sleep because they are physically composed of the same melanin phenotype of animals. And there you have it. White people aren't humans. They're animals. Now, the thing is, his small thing about killing and uh, not losing sleep, well, that's a criminal thing. That's not a skin color thing. You see animals kill, they don't, a lion will kill you and don't lose no sleep. A gorilla will kill you, don't lose no sleep. A cobra will kill you, don't lose no sleep. So yeah, here we see people attacking, killing other people. Maybe not all of the people in this video were killed. I know of at least one of them. Um, and they weren't killed by white people. And the ones doing the killing didn't lose any sleep. Obviously there are way more examples. And will there be white people that kill without losing sleep? Yeah, sure, criminals are criminals. But it's not a skin color thing, because black people kill without losing sleep too. So much so that the primary cause of death for black Americans is murder by the hands of other black Americans. So the don't lose no sleep animal kind of thing Mate, be careful what you're talking about because you're talking about yourself. They do not have the neuromelanin, which is um, manifested within the neuromelanin nerve tract of the brain that allows you to connect to what you call God, the Creator, whatever you identify with God as, and possess a conscious. Why do you not have no conscious? Yeah, the thing is, neuromelanin is a thing. It's a part of the chemistry within our brain. And in this case, in two parts of the brain, um, the substantia nigra, and the locus corellius. In these two places you will find neuromelanin. And it has a job. It's a completely different story than the dude has been telling us. But yeah, who would have known? It's basically found at the bottom of the midbrain. I think midbrain is the best word for the substantia nigra. And before people start worrying about using that word, substantia nigra basically means dark substance because it's the darkest substance of the brain i'm sorry i didn't make this up so do only black people have the substantia nigra no all humans do obviously and is there more neuromelanin in the brains of black people no obviously not it's um a thing and humans have it. Now, why is this important? Because the pineal gland is crucial to the soul. The soul enters the body through the pineal gland. So, if your door is locked, you can't get in your house. 85% of Caucasians have calcified pineal glands, and they also lack neuro and uromelanin. And we are back at the pineal gland. You know, the one that he was talking about at the beginning, the thing that calcified in 85% of the white people. Yeah, that's, that's not true. But he said it. I know, he said it. So, what is true? Well, 
the pineal glands does calcify in people, and I'm not sure if it's more with white people and black people. I have no idea, but it can calcify. Now, why is that a problem? Because it may accelerate aging processes, which is um, well, probably not a good thing, but probably also not as bad. But what does the pineal gland have to do with neuromelanin? Ah, well. Here's the fun thing. Absolutely nothing. It does, however, the pineal gland, produce melatonin, which is something that people have to help them fall asleep. Now, what does melatonin and melanin have to do with each other? Again, absolutely nothing, other than the first three letters, I guess. So, um, yeah. Hogwash. So now why is it important? 85% of Caucasians have no have no gland within their brain that allows your soul to enter the body. Oh yeah, the soul thing. I didn't respond to that yet. But um, at what age does the soul enter the body? The thing is, calcification does happen. And usually it happens um, in young adults. But it has been... Um, seen sometimes in children as young as two years of age. Now the two years of age thing is specifically mentioned, so that means that before the two years of age thing, it hasn't been seen. So at what time does the soul enter the brain? Are you believing that uh, before a certain age your body doesn't have a soul? And okay, what age would that then be? And again, I mean, once the soul is inside, why would it leave? Doesn't that then negate the fact that your body needs a soul? It, it doesn't make sense, is what I'm trying to say. So, there is a level of, let's say, spirit that they can never access. They can never access the higher self. 85% of Caucasians, and I believe the number is way higher, but we're dealing with scientific statistics that they document that can be researched and referenced. Right. Scientific research, eh? Well, I haven't got the original address of this video. I mean, I got it via Twitter. Um, so I don't know if he linked anything about those scientific research in his original video. I don't know. But I did do some Google searching and some Bing searching and some DuckDuckGo searching. And you know how much research I found on the topic? Yeah, indeed, absolutely nothing. So, yeah, there is that. Now, obviously, I might have overlooked his scientific research. And maybe it got published at, um, I don't know, the University of Hard Knocks. I have no idea. But I can't find it. And everything I do find says that this is bullshit. So, just putting it out there. 85% of Caucasians cannot their vehicles cannot uh, intake a soul. They have calcified pineal glands. The door to the body has been shut. Now, pineal gland calcification is indeed a thing, but I'm pretty curious where you will find the scientific research he's talking about, because I've been looking and I can't find anything that has um, the support of science, to be honest. And even if they did, they don't have neuromelanin. Yeah, no, people have neuromelanin. And neuromelanin has nothing to do with the pineal gland. So, there is that. Neuromelanin is called neuromelanin because it has neurons. It has neurons that allow your thoughts to actually exit through the pineal gland and connect with the realm, the ether realm, nine ether. When you hear people make these statements for cosmic melanin, and this is how you manifest, this is how you pray, this is how you connect to the creator. Yeah, it might not be nice for me to point this out, but... Neuromelanin doesn't contain neurons. Neurons contain neuromelanin. Or rather, some neurons can contain neuromelanin. Uh, usually the neurons in the darker part of the brain, eh? the, the, the substantia negra. But in the rest of the brain, you won't find that much neuromelanin, if at all. And if you do find neuromelanin, it's within a neuron, not the other way around.
So even if the Caucasian doesn't have a calcified pineal gland, they have no neural melanin. So their thoughts can't connect with the creator. They have no cosmic affiliation. Mm -hmm. They have no cosmic soul. And once again, the pineal gland has something to do with melatonin, not melanin. And nothing to do with neuromelanin. It's called neuromelanin because it's melanin for the neurons. Basically, that's the easiest explanation for it. It has more things to do. It, it actually does something in the body. And all the things it does have nothing to do with what he just said. Fair enough. So the thing is, neuromelanin is a thing. The calcification of the pineal gland is a thing. They have nothing to do with each other, or at least no link has yet been proven. But uh, as usual with those that are inclined to have beliefs, the truth has nothing to do with the belief, therefore isn't important. This is just another way to other people. Earlier he talked about how white people, well, they have no conscience, they don't care. They, they kill without losing a night's sleep. They are the other. His people are the right people, the good people. They are his group. The other are to be scared of. In a way, what he's doing is creating an us versus them dichotomy. But obviously he can't do it because he's black, therefore what he says can't be discriminatory or racist. But it's also true. He is discriminatory. He is racist. Because none of the things he said actually make sense. There are no proofs for anything he claims. Might be true in a hundred years from now, who knows where we are then, but I sincerely doubt it, considering that neuromelanin is something that we all have. It has nothing to do with our skin color. And our pineal gland has nothing to do with neuromelanin, but with melatonin, which is something we also all have to help us sleep. <sighs> yeah, I think, I think I've said it a few times already, so I'm going to call it quits for now. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And I hope to see you all next time.